there, friend. Do not touch me. Crap! I, I didn't know you could talk. <sighs> I resisted it as long as I could. Hmm. You have the bearing of a creature in the instinctual throes of some vast cosmic migration. Yeah. Wow. I guess I am. Does migration always go there and back? Or can it be one way? It can be one way. Why? Not planning a return trip? Not as myself, no. Listen, I'm trying to make an appointment with Star Gordon. Really? You'd better go straight through. Do you, uh, want a gym? Dreadful. Huh? What is? That was the entrance of a busker, not a crossfire hurricane. It's a damn monstrosity. Look at the size of it. Ugh. An entrance, literal or metaphysical, cannot be undone, Francis. Right. First impressions. Still testing this holographic stage out. Personal project of mine. I'll let you take it for a test drive. You lucky duck. You're too kind. And, of course, you're looking for representation. No. I'm trying to make an appointment with Star Gordon. <laughs> Star Gordon? Are you absolutely sure? Well, I need to get back to the Cosmic Lung. Mm, I can understand that. But is it worth the risk? What? What does that mean? Hey! All be it for me to argue. I'm sure he'll be happy for the work. I is what worth the risk? Oh, his den is on the other side of Disco Worm Ridge. Oh, it's gonna be a hell of a ride, human. I'd bet my hump.
Stargardens. Looks like an amusement park ride. Gordon's the trip of a lifetime. Keep your limbs inside the cart at all times. Just sing to power your journey. I won't be singing. Never suited me. Can I play a holographic guitar? You're welcome to try that sort of thing. Fly buzzed in here. I'm looking for Star Gordon. <laughs> well, this is Star Gordon's, isn't it? Isn't it? I think so. You, friend of Lightman's? Yeah, I am the Almighty. I'm trying to get back to the cosmic lung. Ah, that's so. You got the makings of a story in you. I can smell it. Sometimes I feel like it's already been written for me. Who I am. Where I should be going. Ah, but where you're from, that's what interests me. Why don't we go on a trip together, hmm? You can tell me all about it. Yeah, cool. Where are we going? Oh, to the stars. Tell me of your home planet. Welcome back, Night Owls. Our last guest for all eternity is the almighty... an entertainer from beyond our naive concepts of reality. Welcome. Truly a pl 
isn't it? You're from the Cosmic Extraordinary, correct? That's correct, yes. Ooh. Tell me about it. Um, sure. It's a utopian civilization devoted to leisure and luxury. Is it as wondrous as it sounds? Oh, stunningly, every sunrise of vision, every touch and affair. Hmm, but there must be some version of sorrow. There is, but it's sort of cinematic. There's a, a soundtrack. With moody lighting? Depends on the occasion. Conquests seem outlandish, unbelievable in some cases. What would you say is your greatest achievement? Leading the space convoy of the infinitely loud Galactic Symphony. That must have been a great honor. Toured with them for 48 years. Came back a year younger than when I left. It's unwise though, growing backwards. Things tend to unravel. Oh, what I wouldn't give to see a show like that. To get out of the house for a night. To drown out the voices just for a while. There's been much made about your escape from the planet. How did it happen? Through a portal on the inside of a giant's eye. Oh, a giant? What style? Unspecified, amorphous, uh, hard to describe. A horror. Huge eye, though. Uh-huh. How did you bring it down? A guitar solo that punched a hole in the sky. You'll have to teach me the riff. <laughs> it's a dizzying tale. I wonder what kind of creature would be born from these strange circumstances. What would they dream? Love, fear. What scares you? What scares me? Uh, hello? Where would I begin? To live beneath a towering shadow? You feel dwarfed by the achievements of others. Dwarfed to the point of being considered purely theoretical. For a long time, I thought the only way out was along the same path. Ah, but sometimes you must walk your own. Though, if you don't mind me saying, these sound like the worries of a terrestrial teenage boy. Huh? Oh, <laughs> that's not true. Hmm, the dreary doldrums of a humanoid. Without grief or grandeur? No, totally untrue. You're lying to our live studio audience, aren't you? They seem affable, I know, but they're ravenous. <laughs> they're, uh, what? We're all hungry for blood out here. Once Lightman knew we planned to eat him, he never came back. What? But that's all we've got time for, I'm afraid. You have been a delight. Yeah, pleasure to be here. Yes, but we're not really here, are we? Excuse me? Not really anywhere at all. <gasps> Hello?
Star Gordon? <laughs> Lost your head in there, little hen. Oh, I thought you were going to shoot the coop. Sorry. Yeah. I kind of forgot where I was and what I was doing. That happened a lot. Yeah. It's kind of my thing. It wasn't terrible for a first try. Now, time to cut a track. When do we get back to the long... New here, ain't you? The cosmic extraordinary is not linear. It moves around, wears disguises, loops itself in ribbons. I've never been in a real recording studio. Oh, made all kind of records here. Got a bootleg of the first drum. Now, why don't you play a few notes to give me some levels? A revelation! But I'm getting a, a little buzz in here, like an audience unimpressed by a hackneyed magician. You getting that? No. Think you'll need a little mountain reaver. Hold on to something. Sure. W wait, what? What happened to these guys? Saw a Glamorgon. So spectacular they couldn't look away, poor bastards. A Glamorgon? Lightman jammed with a Glamorgon. Yeah, yeah, that's going back. The trick is, you have to be more spectacular than the Glamorgon. I've got a Glamorgon of my own. We've all got Glamorgons, I suppose. But for this performance, you are the Glamorgon. Promise me you'll play as if your dreams were now memories. And the wonders of reality were all within your reach. Wow.
enjoy the ride. I'm not sure where it began or where it really ended. Exactly. You get it. It's always a thrill when someone gets it. I've never experienced anything like it. Maybe you're a little closer to finding the road you ought to be on. Out here, it feels easy, like, like I'm where I'm supposed to be. And that's good, isn't it? I don't think so. It's supposed to be hard, making serious stuff. It's supposed to be painful. If it comes easy, I feel like I'm not trying hard enough. You're a weird kid. If you remember anything, remember this. Your story is who you are. And once someone knows the road you're on, they cannot help but imagine where it leads. You know, it was the trip of a lifetime. The way back to the Cosmic Lung, it's in the lake. I am the Almighty from the Cosmic Extraordinary, leader of the infinitely loud Galactic Symphony. Hmm. We find you initially compelling, mildly spectacular, but no more than a fleck of glitter in the snow. No. That's not... And we must be entertained! Oh, we must be fed! Uh... I let up! Help! Your laser shoot. Reminds me of Lightman. Well then, let's dance.
delicacy for my taste, but fresh, undeniably. It is a gift, and one gift deserves another. Step into the light, and I shall project your image across the known universe. Whoa. The known universe? On every spectrum, station, and frequency. From the greatest metropolis to the smallest mountain town. Well, step into the light. That's pretty heavy. That's enormously heavy. You refuse. It's because, well, it's kind of complicated. Back home... People think I'm gonna... You're ashamed of what you have become. No. I don't know. I feel sorry for you, friend. I really do. For this decision may hold your entire life. That trip is a real freak out. Where did everybody go? Blast! Lightning's playing! Lightman must be playing the headline show. He's a wizard! Cool. That laser show is my Oh, the song made me... State no whinging. Be gone. Why wouldn't you do it? Right, the whole project my image thing. It, no one really warned me about that. She was going to broadcast you across the universe. She was going to broadcast my lasers across the universe. Why the hell wouldn't you do it? Because I just know if everyone saw me dressed up playing nonsense... Everyone? You mean Calypso? That's everyone I know. <laughs> Why do you care? What could they possibly think of you? They'll know I'm a sham. That I'm not what I'm supposed to be. That when I said I was a folk musician, I was lying to them. 
You're not Johnson Vendetti. You're a kid. You're not meant to have it all figured out. It was already figured out for me. And I still couldn't make it stick, you see? Even when the path is so clear, I am just continuously wandering off. You could have toured the galaxy. You would have never seen Calypso again. Why wouldn't you do it? <sighs> Lightning is returning to the travel gate. He'd like a word. Where to? Must have been a lag in the backing tracks. No one's to blame. How'd the kid do? Trom's offered to project his image across the known universe. Aha! Incredible! What, really? Yep. He turned it down. He did what? Oh, well, of course he did! He's an artist, barely in his formative years. The prodigy, a master's apprentice. You know the chance that kid just blew? For us? For me, Mark? My name is... Your name's gonna be nothing if you keep missing your cues. Don't think I haven't noticed. When you're ready for the next show, meet me at the travel gate. Youngblood, what are you doing? What do you mean? If you don't want any attention, why are you playing guitar? Why are you dancing around? Why are you putting on a show, huh? I can't not. I just gotta play. Now that's the correct answer. What are you afraid of? It's hard to explain. Afraid they'll laugh at you? No. Well, yes, but that's not the biggest part of it. Back home, I mean something there. Some folks have all their hopes caught up in me. Like, I'm gonna bring back something that's lost. Well, baby, sounds like the world's on your shoulders. I thought I'd grow into this folk mastermind. I'm starting to realize that might not be who I am, and it scares me. Young blood, you're never gonna give them what they want. You're probably right. Problem is, you think you've only got two options. Either giving everybody what they want, or failing. You haven't even considered there's a third option, have you? What's that? Are you an artist? I'm working on it. An artist's job is not to give people what they want, Francis. It's to give people something they could never have imagined. Can I ask you a question? Did you ask me to come out here because of my uncle? Your uncle? Who's your uncle? No one. No one at all. <laughs> 